Hello students. Today I'm going to talk about sunscreen. Many of you might be using sunscreen. You might be having sunscreen at your homes. You may have seen many sunscreen products in the market. You might have seen various endorsements on the television. There are many doubts in the mind of students as well as consumers about the different protective measures available and what the different indices which are used on the sunscreen, say about SPF, broad spectrum, UVA protection. I hope I'll be able to clear your doubts. I'm Dr. Kumud Madan, Associate Professor in Pharmaceutics from Lloyd Institute of Technology and Management, Greater Noida. My presentation shall include electromagnetic spectrum, UV rays and its harmful effects, measures of protection, sunscreen, their classification, their mechanism of action, US FDA approved sunscreen agents, adverse effect of sunscreen, natural sunscreen, and the sunscreen indices which are used. This is a figure showing the electromagnetic spectrum which consists in our atmosphere. The concern here is ultraviolet spectrum or the ultraviolet region, which extends from 200 to 400 nanometer. 200 to 290 nanometer, depending on the wavelength, it is called UVC or the ultraviolet C region. Ultraviolet B rays consist of 290 to 320 nanometer. The UVA region consists of 320 to 400 nanometer. This is a figure showing that different ultraviolet rays enter into the skin and what do they do? For example, here, UVC rays, which they are restricted and prevented by the ozone layer, which is existing in the stratosphere. UVB rays, they enter to the epidermis and UVA rays, they enter to the dermis. There, they produce the reactive oxygen species or the ROS, which causes the direct energy absorption of the DNA and the breaking of the cyclopyridine dimers causing the oxidative damage and hence mutations and the cancer. This is another figure showing that the UVB rays they are restricted to the uppermost or the top layer of the skin that is the epidermis. UVB rays here causes skin wrinkling and the sagging of skin. UVA rays however are more penetrating and get deep to the dermis where they break the elastin and collagen by the expression of the MMPs enzyme due to the MAP kinase activation. These are the, some of the pictures showing the sunburn and the photo aging. Measures of sun protection are many. Say the use of umbrellas, hats, goggles, covered clothing, avoiding sun, and the foremost protective agents called sunscreen. Sunscreen can be classified on the two major categories depending upon topical and systemic. Topical sunscreen agents are the one which are applied topically on the skin, on the exterior. However, the systemic sunscreen agents, they are part of the dietary components. They are taken into the blood by the absorption. Topical sunscreen agent can be further classified as organic sunscreen and inorganic sunscreen. Different classes of sunscreen agents have different mechanism of action. Organic sunscreen or the organic filter, they act by the absorption of the UV rays as shown in this figure. Inorganic filters, they act by the reflection. They reflect the UV rays further. And inorganic filters also act by the diffusion of the ultraviolet rays and hence they are preventive in nature. Sunscreen can also be classified depending upon their spectrum of protection. For example, the sunscreen which prevent from UVA rays, they are called UVA filters, and the examples include benzophenone, miradimate, evobenzone. Sunscreen agents which prevent from the UVB rays are called UVB filters. Example, PABA, para amino benzoic acid derivatives, salicylates, cinnamides, homosalate, octoprylene. And the sunscreen agent which prevent from UVA as well as UVB, that is a broad spectrum sunscreen agents. They provide complete photo protection and include the examples such as mixurine and dinosaur. This is a diagram depicting the unprotected skin. The skin does not have any photoprotective agent used. 
no sunscreen has been applied and in this case uvb rays they are entering into the epidermis uva rays they are entering the dermis and causing the harmful effects on the other hand this is uvb protected skin where the uvb rays are prevented by using the uvb protected however since uva protectant has not been used the uva rays penetrate deeper into the skin and cause a harmful effect but the use of broad spectrum uh, photoprotective agent prevents from both uvb as well as uva rays these are some of the sunscreen agent which have been approved by us fda and the permissible or the maximum concentration which can be included in any sunscreen formula is given here titanium dioxide zinc oxide they are permissible up to the limit of 25% these are basically inorganic sunscreen agent or the mineral oxide amino benzoic acid is permissible up to 15% homosalate 15% trolamine salicylate 12% octoprylene 10%, sulisobenzone 10%, pandemate 8%, OMC or octyl methoxysinamate 7.5%, menthyl anthranilate 5%, phenylbenzimidazole sulfonic acid 4%, evobenzone 3%, synoxate 3%, and dioxybenzone 3%. These are the maximum concentration which can be included in a sunscreen. however it should not exceed beyond that many of the chemical sunscreen agent they are associated with the adverse effect besides photoprotection they also cause the adverse effect which are not desirable benzophenone 3 or bz3 is hazardous it also causes leukocytosis anemia and can reduce the organ weight para amino benzoic acid or the paba they cause allergic dermatitis palmitate o or octyl dimethyl paba they release free radical instead of squanging free radical they also release free radical which causes dna damage and allergic reactions menthyl anthranilate which is also called as miradimate that produces damaging ros species bp3 that is 4,3,4 methyl benzylidene camphor and octyl methoxysinamate omc that causes the endocrine disruptive properties they maintain the endocrine disrupting properties they basically disturb the hormonal balance of our body on the other hand the natural sunscreen agents which have been the part of homemade recipes and traditional system of medicine in india and ayurveda they are harmless inert safe and they cause multiple biological action besides protective effect against oxidative stress inflammation and cancer is also a benefit this is a figure showing how do natural agents belonging to the different chemical group prevent the deleterious effect of the ultraviolet radiation ultraviolet radiation when fall upon the skin produces or the generate ros that is reactive oxygen species which disturbs the oxidant and antioxidant homeostasis balance of the body which further causes the protein and lipid peroxidation leading to oxidative stress likewise they also cause a dna damage and genomic instability which causes the photoimmunosuppression and hence skin cancer they also activate signaling pathways causing the inflammatory reaction proliferation and transformation which is again responsible for skin cancer on the other hand these all effects they are inhibited by the natural agents which are present and which are taken from the plants belonging to the chemical group of polyphenol flavonoids and monoterpenes and indols they have the inhibitory action of these deleterious uv radiation effect natural sunscreen agents are many this is a very short comprehensive list however say aloe vera which is obtained from aloe barba densis which is its scientific name it has the enzyme ready kinase which stop the sunburn and stimulate immune system intervention tomato it contains a lycopene which scavenges lipid radical reduces lipid peroxidation and prevent erythema caused by uv radiation on the skin pomegranate has antioxidant polyphenols green tea has four major polyphenols which are epicatechin epicatechin 3 galate ecg epigallocatechin egc and epigallocatechin 3 galate egcg cucumber 
has ascorbic acid, that is vitamin C, and caffeic acid, which soothe the skin irritation. Natural sunscreen agents inhibit reactive oxygen species generation, ROS generation, DNA damage, genomic instability, and activation of signaling pathways. By inhibiting these four effects, they are helpful as a sunscreen agents. Fitzpatrick skin typing is a phenomena given by the scientist Fitzpatrick, which divided the skin of whole of the world people into six major categories. This division is based upon the tanning property of the skin and their relative SPF and the features. Say skin type 1 is light and pale white in color, which always burns but never tans. No tanning occurs. However, the skin type 2 is white and fair in nature. It looks white and fair. It usually burns and tans with difficulty. Skin type 3 is medium white to olive in color and is sometimes mild burn and gradually tans to olive. Skin type 4 rarely burns but tans with ease to a moderate brown. Skin type 5 is brown to dark brown in color which rarely burns but tans very easily. Skin type 6 is black or very dark brown to black in color which never burns, tans very easily and which is deeply pigmented. Indian skin type is of skin type 4 as well as skin type 5, which has the relative SPF, that is sun protection factor of 4. This is a diagram where the different consumers, they are in ambiguity or they having the question mark in their mind that which sunscreen agent should they buy. Because the selection of sunscreen depends also on the skin type, which is not known by everybody. Sunscreen in the market are varied and different in number. They have different parameters on the label they claim. They have different SPF, as high as SPF up to 100 or 90 is available in the market. People think the more is the SPF, more is the photo protection. However, this is a myth to some extent. The various parameters or the properties or the sunscreen indices which are written on the label are SPF, UVAPF, that is UVA protection factor, star indication, broad spectrum, natural. I shall explain these different indices so that you can choose your sunscreen yourself depending upon your skin type. SPF. SPF or the sun protection factor is a ratio between the MED, minimal arrhythmal dose. Minimal arrhythmal dose, that is dose, which is required in minimum, to produce arrhythma, that is the redness of the skin or the sunburn. SPF is the ratio between the MED of protected and unprotected skin. You can see the formula is MED protected. Protected means the consumer or the patient has used the sunscreen and MED unprotected without the sunscreen. Suppose if a person uses a uh, sunscreen, then he is MED protected. If he doesn't, it is MED unprotected. This ratio then further tells the percentage of the protection from the UV rays. SP15 means it provides 95% protection from the ultraviolet rays. SP30 means it provides 97% protection. SP45 means 98% protection. We can see here from the table that when SP increases from 15 to 30, that is two times, where we need to add the sunscreen agent almost twice that causes merely 2% increment in the protection. Likewise, when the SPF has increased to three times, the protection is merely incremented in just 3%. However, the Indian skin, which belongs to the category of skin type 4 and 5, is blessed with melanin. And because of this melanin, this pigment, we have our own SPF in the skin, which is of the value 4. We have high MED value, so less SPF is required. Please have a look on this formula. SPF is indirectly proportional to the MED unprotected. Higher is the MED, lesser is the SPF provided. So we can conclude that the Indian skin do not require high SPF product as required by other skin type and Caucasian people. Another factor is UVAPF, that is UVA protection factor. 
it is the wavelength below and including 90% of the total UVA is absorbed by a sunscreen from 290 nanometer to 400 nanometer. Higher critical wavelength means better UVA protection. Critical wavelength is 370 nanometer. The Japan Cosmetic Industry Association has given notations for UVA PF, which are given here. PA plus means the UVA protection is 2 to 4. PA plus plus means the UVA protection is from 4 to 8. PA plus 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 means 8 to 16. And PA plus 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 means 16 or more. Another factor is Booth star rating system, which is generally depicted on a sunscreen bottle. A UK based company called the Booth's company developed a method for grading UVA protection. This method was based on the work done by Brian Diffey, the scientist who looked after the protection sunscreen agents. The ratio of the total absorption by a sunscreen in the UVA region to the absorption in the UVB region gives the Booth UVA ratio. If the ratio is minimum, that is 20 to 40 percent, we depict one star. If the ratio is 40 to 60 percent, it means two stars. If the ratio is 60 to 80 percent, that is good enough, three stars. Superior means four stars and alpha means complete 19 to 100 percent protection, five stars. Broad spectrum. As I told you earlier, broad spectrum is a requisite for the complete photo protection. It's not only UVB rays are harmful, but UVA rays are equally and in fact more harmful. So if we want the complete photo protection, our sunscreen should be broad spectrum and should not be of high SPF. Broad spectrum sunscreen contain UVA and UVB protectant, which provides efficient photo protection. So I guess now you will be able to decide that what does your skin need? Indian skin is basically a type 4 and type 5, which has inherent SPF of 4. So we do not need high SPF products which are existing in the market. Stay safe, stay healthy and happy sun. Thank you. If you have any queries, please feel free to mail me at kumut.madan at lloydcollege.in. Thank you.